All right, guys, second round in the isolational, isolational. <laughs> I've been locked down for too freaking long, dear. Please put this in. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I've missed it. I've missed it. Oh, oh no, that's so bad. Oh. Oh. oh my God, he dropped. Come on, Ruby boy. I didn't do preview! I am f***ing pissed off! Yes guys, welcome back to Seven Golf and welcome back to the Isolation Invitational, the big YouTube online golf tournament with 36 of your favourite content creators. And we're down to the final 16 guys. We're down to the final 16. If you want to know more about this tournament, if you haven't seen already, I'll leave a link down below to the previous episodes so we can see how we've got thus far. In today's video, we'll be getting down to the final four, finding out who's gonna be battling out for that 5,000 pounds charity prize fund. This tournament is of course supported by the guys at the Open, so massive thank you to them once again. They've got some amazing content going on right now. Chronicles of a Champion Golfer, Open Official Films, all for free on their website, so make sure you check that out. As well as the charity prize fund for the winner, we also have uh, the raffle going on, which has got some really, really high value items that you guys can win for as little as a 10 pound donation. Gets you a raffle ticket, Get, to get, get your name in the hat to win one of these awesome, awesome prizes you can see on the screen now. And you know what? With the five grand charity prize fund and the three grand we've now raised from the raffle, we're getting close to a 10,000 pound total for this event, which would be amazing. Anyone who hasn't already, get involved in that. Link's down below. The raffle is supporting two amazing charities in November's mental health campaign during COVID-19 crisis and also NHS charities together. More about those later in the video, as well as some information on the viewers competition where one of you guys is going to be winning a massive Adidas Golf Hall. I need you to help me vote on who's done the best shot of the tournament so far for the viewers playing along at home. Uh, more on that later in the video. Some of you guys have been asking about putt preview. Putt preview is staying on for this first round of 16, but then from the quarterfinals onwards, putt preview is going. It's going to get spicy. I can't wait to see who gets into those semi-final spots. Let's get on the first tee for Rick versus Piers. While you're doing that, I think it's a great opportunity to thank Seb for putting this on and also the money raised so far. I think we've raised about two and a half thousand or maybe Phenomenal. five thousand. Here we go then on the first hole. Now this round being played at Royal St. George's, another open rotation course. Donating not only um, well, we're donating. Hmm. I'm going donating half a day of coaching or a full round of golf with me, and you guys doing something similar. Yeah, coaching something very session. similar as well. Yeah, coaching session, um, playing golf. So, as well. Piers and Rick, two of the guys, donated some amazing, amazing prizes to that auction raffle we're talking about. There, massive thank you to them as well. And this is the big one to get us off to an absolute fly. Piers from a long way here. 50, oh, he's got a heartbeat. Oh, it's 52 it's feet, it's on the way. He's doing this heartbeat thing. What does that mean? I don't even know what it means. Oh, you are joking. Wow. <laughs> Look at the fist pumps. What does that mean? What, what, what kind you of score was that? Oh, I don't even know. Rick is in absolute disbelief. What a way to kick this match off. Did it, where did it go? The best part oh. was my putt preview. Oh, no. I didn't Rick, do can you answer? <laughs> I didn't do book preview! <laughs> oh, what an error. What an error. Schoolboy stuff from Rick. He forgot putt preview. He's still on in this round. Thank and he's absolutely everything. devastated by that. Do preview. Oh, now on the tee. All right, here we go. Could it come back and haunt him in this oh, huge match? God. I have just lost my mind, Piers. What have I just done? He's got to gather himself now. Second hole, it, par three. It's excellent as well. Oh, I reckon it's, it's too hard. Beating. It's too, no, it's hard no. Beating. Oh, there we go. That's a way to it's bounce back. Hard. Rick Shields, can he get it in tight on the second? Get up, get up, get up. Oh, I think it has, shot. you know. What a golf what shot a from shot. Rick Shields. Three that is the stuff the of magic. Beautiful. But Piers Ward, can he break his heart and convert with another birdie on the second? This one from 18 this, feet. As long as you Very good pass in real life is Piers. Oh my goodness, he's done it again. Oh, you can see the disappointment on Rick's face. Back to back birdies for Piers and he's absolutely flying. And that could be huge. And we're going to leave this go. match there. Rick will need to make his birdie pie in order to extend. We're going to come no, back comment, and see, see who go. books go. their place in the quarterfinal shortly. But right now, we're heading over to Tish versus Andy Carter. And we're joining those guys on the second hole and they are all square. Short putt for Andy Carter, no, no way. Oh no, what has he done? 
He's lost that hole now. He's going to need to bounce back here on the third, or else it's going to be all she wrote. Oh no. He looks so confident as well, and he's pulled it left. Not even on the dance floor. Which means Tish has this short putt to win the match. Yes, she does. Tish, a dark horse. She is flying through the field here. She gets her place booked in the quarterfinals. Now we go over to see Scott Pollock taking on Matt Fryer. It's got to be close. Scott, professional it. footballer. Keep rolling. Matt, professional golfer. Who's going to come out on the battle of the oh, sports here? What a shot. <laughs> what a shot that is from Scotty P. Iron play. Absolutely mustard. And that was enough to win him the first hole. And I tell you what, it looks like he's hit another absolute laser in here. Oh, it's going to be gimme. It's going to be a gimme, surely. And I think that's it. That's going to be it. Back to back birdies from Scotty P. Doesn't give Matt Fryer a sniff. We'll be losing Matt, but massive thank you to him for getting involved in the tournament. Scotty Pollock, well played, sir. You're into the quarters. And now we join Zach Radford versus Mr. Short Game. Two pre tournament favourites. Mr. Short Game, one of the most competitive guys you'll meet. And Zach Radford shot 61 in qualifying, but that is not going to get it done for Zach, which means Mr. Short Game has got this for a part. And to win the first hole. He likes it. Gotcha. He rubs his hands together in glee and he goes one up now. And we move on to the third hole. T shot is Don't go in the trap. on its way. On the 12th. Oh no. He's gone in the bunker. Okay, opportunity for Zach. He's going to have to win this hole to keep it going. You know, do what I can do. Mr. Short game to try and save his par here. Let's see. I need Has he got it? Has he got it? Oh, he hasn't, which means we will have a putt. Zach Radford to extend. He's oh, got, he it. got it. He got it. Good putt. What a that putt. Was we go to a playoff. Now, in this first playoff hole, Zach Radford for birdie. Oh, he slipped out again. I'm going to have to put a good putt. Mr. Short Game has this birdie putt for the win to book himself a place in the quarter finals. He's got it. He <laughs> looks delighted. It Zach looks disappointed. Yeah, what a game that was. Well played, boys. Dude, Zach, I'm great sweating. having you, mate. Thanks for being involved. And Mr. Short Game, congratulations. You are into the quarter finals. <laughs> now we go over to an all pro affair. Alex Etches versus Andrew Jensen. And that is a very nice Ooh, birdie putt nice there birdie. from Alex Etches. Alex yeah, does win that first hole with that birdie. Really They've halved the second, so now Alex Etches to save part on the third or else we will be going to sudden death. Extra holes. Can he make it? Can he win the game here? Alex Etches on its way from 10 feet. Oh, he's left it short. He's left it short. Oh, no. It still wasn't enough. Okay, Alex Etch is on the fourth here, putting his shot in. Uh, okay. And here is his birdie putt, Alex Etch is. Has he got it? Has he got it? Oh, it's a lip out. It's a lip out, which means here we go. Opportunity for it. Andrew Jensen for a birdie on the fourth to book himself a place in the oh. top finals. He's missed it as well. I do not oh, believe it. I, I and it looks like another birdie putt. This it. one from only six feet from Andrew Jensen. Yes. Can he hold it? Yes. Well he done, does. Man. He does. Thank Very you. well Thank done. You. Alex Etches, you've been an absolute legend. Alex Etches, a YouTube channel I'm a massive, massive fan of. He makes some fantastic content. If you haven't checked him out, make sure you do. Very funny guy. And yeah, unlucky to be out, mate. Andrew Jensen, congratulations. You'll be playing the winner of Jeff Eisenband versus SAS Golf. But before we go over and see that match, we are going to catch up with Peter Finch versus Justin Ray on the first hole now. Justin Ray needs this for par. No, which means Pete wow. Finch okay. will surely now win one, one. the first hole. One, he's got two putts from here to secure it, which he does. Sports. So therefore, he is anything, one up anything. on the second. Total deprivation. We see Lockdown Finch uh, is his yeah, username. Yeah, Pete Finch is his real name, of course. This? Hitting this one into the second. Oh, that's a delightful yeah. approach. What a golfer in real life Pete Finch is. What a ball striker. Hey, and it seems as though that skill transfers into the virtual game as well. Stick that one in tight. To be a hero. Come on. All right. Oh, pulled it. Well, he's pulled it. Has it dipped in? Oh, he's got away with it. He looks very, very happy there. We're losing Justin. Peter Finch goes into our quarterfinals to complete another matchup. He'll be playing Tish. That's going to be an incredible game, by the way. Both of those players showing some really, really good form. Looking forward to that one. 
Now we do go and see Jeff versus SAS Golfer. The winner here will be playing Andrew Jensen and Jeff Eisenband has got one foot in the quarterfinal with that early birdie putt. What a putt he's made there from pretty decent distance. But let me tell you, SAS has matched it. Halved in birdies on the first. Some standard from between these two. Jeff with his approach on the second. On its way. Checks back with that yellow ball he's using. Very, very nice. And he does convert that birdie putt, which will be enough to win the hole. Going to the third now. He's only going to need a par here. Jeff Eisenban, and he gets that par, which means he is moving into that quarterfinal to play Andrew Jensen. Up the hill. Can I just time it? On the first hole here. I have a putt for birdie. Did I get the read right? Oh, Sebi boy, lipped out. We halve the first. Going into the second now. Sophie Walker, with his approach, knows this course very well. Wow. I've got my work out here just adjusting myself in the seat. And Sophie converts. Birdie on the second. Which means Sophie wins going into the last. Seb, one down. It's a terrible putt. I timed that so badly. We filmed that one late at night. Rupert was awake. I had to pick him up and play one-handed there. That ball was going miles past the flag. Lucky for it to drop oh, onto the timed. second playoff hole now. Dive. Yeah. And that is enough to nick it. He holds up Rupert. Tell you what, I've got a wave one there. Sophie Walker played absolutely fantastically there. I thought she had the better of me. I've got to say, got a little bit fortunate there. Thank you very much for Sophie for getting involved. I have just booked myself a place in the quarterfinals, but who will I be playing? Will it be Rick Shields or will it be Piers Ward? I think it's time to find out. And we go back to that match now, poised here on the second hole where Rick Shields has a birdie putt in order to extend this match from nine feet. I was going wild when you were hitting yours. He says it's got to be in. Oh, he likes it. That is how you bounce back. Rick Shields, fantastic stuff. We go into the third hole here. Piers still one up. Oh, but look at this shot from Rick. every day of the week. Plays the links contours fantastically to get it back towards that pin location. Fringe, no. Oh, no, it's just run through, though. That is unlucky. I'm in the rough here. Okay. That was such a good shot as well. So on the third hole here, Pierce couldn't get it close out of the rough. He's now got 70 feet for his birdie. Uh, I mean, yo, this, this, if this goes in, it's all over. Surely not from this sort of distance. Oh, no. It's on its way. It looks like it's just going to lag up close. And that's really all he can really hope for from that sort of distance. But it is going to be enough because Rick couldn't make the birdie from the fringe. From it means Shields Piers Ward <laughs> will be going through <laughs> into the quarterfinals, <laughs> which means it's me versus Piers in that quarterfinal matchup. Wow. And there we can see there is the quarterfinal lineups all confirmed now. We've got some great games there. Guys, comment below right now. Who is going to win this one? Who's going to win? I can't wait to find out. Let's get into the quarterfinals. And we're going to start with that match we just confirmed. It's myself taking on Piers Ward. Before we get into the quarterfinals, I do want to take a quick few seconds to talk about the work Movember are doing right now with a mental health campaign during COVID-19. Uh, guys, it's very simple. It's all about ALEC, A-L-E-C. A lot of us, you know, we're in isolation. We're not doing what we're normally doing. It's tough for everybody right now. This campaign really encourages us all to just reach out to people and just check in on them. A is for ask, just, just ask out. Are you okay? You don't see yourself lately. Are you feeling okay? L is for listen. You know, ask questions like, that can't be easy. How long have you felt that way? Encourage people to talk. They often say a problem shared is a problem halved. E is for encourage action. If somebody is struggling, let's just encourage them. It's okay to seek help. It's okay to try to make things better. Uh, we, we've got to really encourage people. There is still a stigma around mental health and campaigns like this, hopefully, will help break that down. And then C is for checking in. It's not just about an initial conversation. It's about following up. Once we do see if people are struggling, let's make sure we stay on top of it. And let's all help each other here, guys. I want to thank Movember for all the work they're doing during this difficult time. And of course, if you want to donate, links below to the charity raffle where you can win some amazing prizes for as little as a £10 donation. Right, back to the action. The quarterfinals. Let's go. All right, Seb is looking for fireworks here. Let's be honest, I've limped through that match versus Sophie Walker. I need to start emphatically here. And I tell you what, I may have just done that. All 330 yards of this first hole. Back at St Andrews here for the quarterfinals, guys, and putt preview is now off. I have got a putt for Eagle. Piers Ward, head in hand. How will he respond? Wouldn't you just? Wouldn't you just? You got the sim as well. 
Go. Piers Ward has not been able to get it on the green in one, but he's got himself a nice little 18 foot birdie putt here. Can he make it and pile the pressure on me? I tell you what, is he going to break back from there? It hasn't, it hasn't, which means I don't need the eagle putt. I've got two for it on the first to draw first blood. I'm going to watch it. I want to see you knock it in. Oh, I've mistimed it a bit. Not sure if I've got it. No, I haven't. But as they say in the business, Piers, you've got to. Take two. Okay, Seb wins the first hole. Now on to the second hole. I've got birdie putt here. Oh, just slightly off. Have I got it? No, it's a lip out. It is a lip out, which means on this tough par three, Piers Ward now has a birdie putt to tie things up. The door is open for him. 13 feet. Excellent. Oh, Wow. Not an easy hole to birdie. I heard the sound before I saw it. Crikey. We are all wow. square. Seb, you've got your work cut out mean, here, I'm mate. Go and we're on the third hole now. Another birdie putt for Seb. Just Not putted go well, go to be honest. Putt preview is off. We're still allowed to use the green the bar for a distance here. help. It's on its way. I don't know if I've timed that well enough. It's going to miss low. It's going to miss low. Missed opportunity. We are going to a playoff. We'll come back shortly and find out who between myself and Piers is going to be booking our spot in the semi-final. But first, we head over to Mr. Short Game versus Scotty Pollock. We join them on the second, all square. Scotty Pollock's approach has gone a little bit long here, it seems. Oh, that ran out. That was a tough one. And Scott's now got a long putt for par coming back. Don't think he's going to make it, and he hasn't. Which means Mr. Short Game is one up going into the third and final hole. Scotty P for birdie, may need to drop. Has he got oh. it there? Oh, Scotty, you've left it short. You've left it short, which means Mr. Short Game has this shortish putt for par and to win the oh. match, he's converted. It lived well in. played, Mr. Short Game. You may well be making yourself a new firm favorite right now. The boys have halved the first now. We go on to the second, and Andrew has this one for par from about nine feet. Oh, no, he's not hit it. He's not hit it. Which means Jeff now with a par part of his own. Oh, no. Oh, he's missed it as well. Oh, no. Oh, no, that is poor. And look, at, look at the treachery that's being caused now by putt preview being turned off. Missed putts all over the place now. The guys are going to halve the second, which means we go to sit, the third sit. hole. It's basically sudden death right now. Yeah, good shot. All right. On its way. Got to get this one there, Andrew. Much better pace. Much oh, better pace. Low. Oh, it's not oh, quite high enough, impossible. though. He's missed it. And Jeff now has this one to book a place in, in the semi-finals. Right, well, he has that. done it. Oh, Jeff Eisenbahn will be nice taking shooting. on Mr. Short Game oh. in our first confirmed semi-final. Andrew Jensen's played fantastically all the way through. Massive thank you for getting involved, mate. Congratulations to Jeff. Now we go to Peter Finch versus Tish. Oh my God. Oh no. What did I just she's tried do? to get too cute there. She's put it in the water. <laughs> That Absolute shocker. Surely that will lead to a one-up lead here from Pete on the first hole. You're not, you're not even giving oh, I'll tell you what, Tish, the competitor in her, I love it. I love it. She's making Pete putt out from inside three feet. I'll tell you what, I don't blame her at this stage in the tournament. But Pete, of course, does make it. He goes one up. And we now go into the second where Tish will need to bounce back and quickly. These short three-hole matches are treacherous. All right. Can Tish convert a 17-foot birdie putt? Oh, it's a lip out. It's a lip out, which means they will halve that second hole in pars. And we go now to the final third. Peter Finch now from 103 yards. Oh, he's got the heartbeat. He's got the heartbeat. He likes it. There we go. What a shot, sir. What a shot. The ball striking extraordinaire. Peter Finch puts one in close which means Tish is now going to have to follow suit. And she does. And wow, she's converted the birdie putt as well. Fantastic from Tish. She's done all she can. But now, Peter Finch, 10 feet for a place in the semi-final. A frozen man. I don't know. I'm waiting for the putt. Okay. Hold, hold. He has. And look what it means to him. Peter Finch is into the semi-final. Well played, sir. That was fantastic. Tish, you've been absolutely sensational. Massive thank you for getting involved in the tournament.
but who will he be oh, playing? We rejoin I? myself so, uh, and I Piers Ward from Me and My Golf on the first sudden death oh, playoff hole here. And it's rolled on a little bit, you know? It's rolled on a bit indeed. Oh my goodness, Sebi boy. Settle down here. Of course you did. Four foot now to extend my life in this competition. Must make, simple as that. And I live to fight another day. We now go to the second playoff hole. Piers Ward has had to lay up quite a bit back here. Hitting his third shot on this par five. Oh my gosh. I think he, I think he likes it. I think he likes it. And what is not to like about that? What a shot. Piers oh Ward, you can see my ball I'm there. Sure. Just laid up sure. close oh, in wait. two, which means I've got up and down for birdie, but I'll need to make it or else this is over. 26 yards. Piers has got a kick in birdie. This is a must up and down. Oh no, it's rolled on quite a bit now and we've got yet another must make part. And this one's from 15 feet. It's got to go in or else Piers Ward is into the semi-final to play He's Peter missed. Fink. And it's missed. missed. It's missed. Oh, which, which means Piers has got just that. a couple of feet. I mean, and I'm going to have to make Piers put it in. But from inside three foot, I don't expect him to miss. And of course, he makes it, which means Sebi Boy is out. Yes, I am talking about myself in the third person. I'm rattled. I'm absolutely gutted. I can't lie. I'm absolutely devastated. I mean, I couldn't win my own tournament, could I? Let's be honest. I mean, that's the excuse I'm going with. But Piers, you've been phenomenal. Well played, sir. Congratulations. You've taken out some big, big names so far in the tournament. James Robinson, Rick Shields, myself. Uh, not that I'm calling myself a big name. But now you're going to have to take on another big name in Peter Finch in the semi-final. Another mega match we've got in store. And that is it, guys. There we have the semi-final lineup is complete. Piers Ward versus Peter Finch. Mr. Short Game versus Jeff Eisenband. Leave me a comment down below. Who is going to get this one done? Who do you want to win? Massive thank you again to all the guys uh, who have been taking part in this. There's links to everybody down below. They're all fantastic people, fantastic content creators. I recommend you checking every single one of them out. Um, before we say goodbye, guys, I want to just show you now some of these shots of the week. Fantastic shots here from some of the viewers watching at home using the hashtag stay at home tour. We've got this phenomenal shot from Ashley Harris of Enable Golf from 86 yards. He's only gone and hold it on the first at the old course. Fantastic stuff from Ash. Brilliant shot there. We've now got Danny Hill, 179 foot putt to just a few inches also on the old course. Phenomenal lag putt there. Brilliant stuff. Uh, Phil Martin here. Got, got quite a few submissions here, but I'm telling you now, Phil Martin, my good friend from Hashtag United, there weren't many better than this. 285 yards at the old course. Off the tee, par four, almost stiff for an eagle putt, which he made. Very, very, very good. And now we have Marcus with a chip in again on the first at the old course. That was phenomenal. Guys, let me know down below which of those was your favourite? I'm going to be posting a tweet on my Twitter uh, with a little vote. Go over there and vote. Who was your favourite? Who's going to win the viewer's shot of the tournament? The winner will be getting some amazing Adidas golf clothing. Massive thank you to everyone that submitted scores. They are my four favourites. It's over to you now to pick the winners. And there we have it, guys. Wow. What an episode that was. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that. I mean, I'm out. I'm definitely gutted about that. Make no mistake about it. But uh, well played to the guys. That was phenomenal. Some amazing moments there. Thank you very much to everyone who's got involved. Thank you to all the people that donated charity prizes. Thank you very much to the guys at the Open for getting involved. As I said, there's more information down below to all the content creators, to the charity causes, Movember, and also NHS Charities together. Uh, to all of the sponsors who put up prizes, the links are down there. You can donate now. We're getting so close now to that £10,000 target for the entire tournament. Uh, any help you can do will be massively appreciated. Remember, it's unlimited entries. The more entries you get, the more chances you have of winning your favourite prize. Just please remember when you do leave your donation to enter a way of contacting you in case you are a winner. There's nothing left to say apart from a massive thank you for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like on it. Subscribe so you make sure you don't miss the semi-finals and the final coming soon. Anyway, thanks again. See you again next time. I didn't do book review! <laughs> I am...